runners run on the roads, and it's got to be intuitive that we need cushioned shoes. You feel how hard the road is if you walk on it barefoot, you know you need some shoes. But uh, you start thinking, what the heck is uh, the whole concept and the science behind this? Well, what ends up happening is when you're running, you land with six to seven times your body weight. And you can feel it. If you're a runner who lands more on your heels, it really puts a lot of extra force uh, on your body, it goes up through your ankle, your knee, into your hips, and there's a lot of shock, shock your lower back. So you get, uh, get soreness in a lot of different areas. One way to minimize this is to get properly cushioned shoes. When you go into a running specialty shore, store, you'll see that all kinds of shoes are available by all the major brands. Some have less cushioning, some have more. If you're running mainly on the roads and if you're a heavier runner, I say somebody who you know, weighs maybe even 150 pounds or more, if you're a guy or, a, um, or maybe, you know, if, definitely if you're over 200 pounds, a male or female, you want to get proper cushioning to lessen this shock. Uh, the more mileage you run also uh, determines your need for cushioning. If you're running 10 or 15 miles a week, it may not be as big a deal, but if you're getting up to 30, 40, 50 or more miles a week and training for a marathon, properly cushioned shoes are going to help you. So prevent and minimize the chances of injuries, get shoes with proper cushioning and rotate them and don't wear them longer than about six months when the cushioning uh, degenerates and you will be a much more <laughs> apt to be uninjured.